this case describes a 65-year-old man who uh, presented with abdominal pain and was found a very large tumor um, occupying pretty much the entire stomach invading into the spleen. There was also a small liver lesion. Uh, biopsy of the stomach confirmed uh, a gastrointestinal stromal tumor uh, with a high mutation rate, more than 5 per 50, per 50 high power fields, uh, KIT positive uh, on staining, and a mutational analysis revealed exon 11 mutation. This is a case of a patient with a very large primary tumor. Uh, resecting that tumor would be um, uh, involved with a, a large, potentially risky surgery. The patient also has a liver metastasis. Uh, so I think we want to think about surgery eventually, but we want to start with neoadjuvant uh, imatinib. So when we're faced with a tumor that's technically resectable, but uh, that we think that the morbidity of surgery would be reduced with neoadjuvant treatment, we generally start patients on imatinib and monitor them closely over time. Uh, we generally scan every three months. Sometimes we'll start with an initial PET scan as well and repeat the PET scan several weeks later just to make sure that the tumor is sensitive. Uh, mutational analysis also helps in that sense because we know that exon 11 mutations tend to be quite sensitive to imatinib and the expectation is that most patients will have tumor shrinkage at standard doses. So as far as length of treatment, um, it can take a long time to achieve maximal response, and usually we treat until maximal response. Sometimes that can take uh, a year and even longer, although there's some controversy over whether uh, it's appropriate to continue neoadjuvant treatment beyond a year. What you want to avoid is progression during neoadjuvant treatment, and that's why it's important to monitor patients closely during this period. When you're talking about a tumor that's um, um, high risk, locally advanced, uh, or uh, with limited metastases, uh, you need close communication between the surgeon and the medical oncologist in terms of whether neoadjuvant therapy is appropriate, timing of neoadjuvant therapy, uh, feasibility of surgery, uh, and also um, uh, with respect to post-operative adjuvant therapy. It's ideal if patients are treated in a multidisciplinary setting where the surgeon and medical oncologist are within the same um, institution, although that's not always possible or necessary. At three months of imatinib therapy, the tumor was reduced from 14 centimeters to 8 centimeters. Uh, three months later, the tumor shrunk down to 5 centimeters. Uh, but at nine months, there wasn't any further shrinkage. And so the patient proceeded to undergo um, partial gastrectomy, splenectomy, and uh, uh, partial hepatectomy for removal of the liver metastasis. This patient actually had metastatic disease to start with. Uh, so in this case, I would definitely proceed with adjuvant therapy after um, uh, resection of the primary tumor in the liver metastasis. Uh, I would actually probably continue with lifetime adjuvant treatment um, um, after surgery uh, because the risk of recurrence is extremely high. The likelihood of micrometastases is high uh, in this patient who had metastatic disease to start with. And what we think is that imatinib suppresses micrometastases. We're not sure it actually eradicates micrometastases. And so uh, in this particular case, a fixed duration of adjuvant treatment may not make sense. In patients uh, with non-metastatic disease, the risk of recurrence is based on several factors, including mitotic rate, including size of the tumor, and also um, the location, stomach versus small intestine versus colorectum. Um, mitotic rate is probably the most important uh, of these, although um, location is also an important factor. So for example, small intestinal tumors have a higher risk of recurrence than, than gastric tumors. In the case of a patient with resected metastatic disease, uh, we know that the risk of recurrence after surgery is extremely high, uh, particularly in a case like this where the mitotic rate uh, was fairly high at the outset.